That's what we're trying to get you to do on a daily basis. Be better tomorrow than you were today. And you're going to be very, very successful in your football career, in your Knox career, and in life. If you just simply understand that when you make a mistake, you admit it, you say you made a mistake, and you drive on from it. and excitement surrounding the thought of returning home to play a game for the first time in nearly a month was felt all around the Prairie Fighters practice during the week. Knox welcomes St. Norbert to town for a 12 o'clock kickoff as part of the annual Family and Friends Weekend. It's a big weekend all across Prairie Fire Athletics as the soccer team is hosting the ribbon-cutting ceremony for their newly renovated field and the volleyball team hosts Lake Forest. As the campus celebrates Family and Friends Weekend, there is plenty of family ties all throughout the Prairie Fire program. For first-year offensive lineman Charlie Gibbons has been watching his dad along the sidelines as a coach for Knox since he was a kid. And as he grew older, the thought of someday joining the Prairie Fire came to fruition. I started thinking about coming to Knox probably my sophomore year. I thought this might be a place for me to go and might be an option. However, as he considered coming to Knox, his dad tried to let him make his own decision. He stayed out of the whole entire thing. We would have some conversations about where I was going to go, but he would never try to influence me to come to Knox. He wanted me to make my own decision. And his decision? To continue his football career in the Knox Purple and Gold. I honestly didn't get to see his initial reaction because I texted him at school because I made my decision during my government class. I, I zoned out for 45 minutes and made my decision it was the most random decision but and then i texted and then I'm, I'm sure and he was just so happy like he texted me back are you serious are, are you serious and it was it was a very happy day in my house and he was just so happy and i was happy and the whole family was happy coach andy gibbons has been a part of knox football for the past 27 years this year moving to the role of strength and conditioning coach but seeing his dad in a new role has been a unique experience for Charlie. It's different seeing him as an as actual Coach Gibbons. He's so much more serious and he wants to help so much. He cares a lot about us and he wants us to improve. Over those 27 years, Coach Gibbons has coached six different Paul brothers who have donned the Prairie Fire uniform. Tyler, the sixth of the brothers and a senior on this year's team, has relished in his experience to play for Knox after watching all of his brothers play growing up. It was a different experience. It was... It was a big step from high school. Um, it was just, I grew up watching them. It was fun to become part of what I've been watching, what I've been close to. It was an exciting experience. And the experience helped form a new type of relationship between him and his brother Jacob, who have played together the past three seasons. I grew closer to him, surprisingly, because we competed, we messed around. Every time he was on the field, I was on the field, so we were getting just... I would say closer because we've never, in high school, we were two grades apart, so we never really played with each other, but we were just trying to make each other better. That they did. Jacob was twice selected to the Midwest All Conference team during his career, and Tyler has been a four-year starter for the Prairie Fire. But had their oldest brother not chose Knox, Tyler thinks things wouldn't be the same. It would just be a different atmosphere. I don't, I don't know if our family would come to Knox this often if only one or two brothers came. It just would have been different. Besides the Gibbons and Paul families who have long been staples in the Prairie Fire program, there are also two other sets of brothers that wear the purple and gold. For junior Garrett Rowell, it was a feeling of excitement when his brother decided to join him at Knox this past off season. Uh, we were all down there and he's like, hey, just wanted to let you guys know that like, I'm going to go to Knox. And uh, it's pretty exciting for me. I was pretty pretty excited 
pretty sure it's just a big uh, smile I came across my face and my dad was, I know he was pretty excited to have us together again. Like, He's obviously helped me a lot. I mean, even before we got here, um, we worked out together. He showed me the, the lifting program that we had here. And then he showed me some of the defensive playbook, what we were, what we were going to work on right away. Um, so that kind of gave me a step up coming in already. I think we're both each other's biggest fans, but we're also one of each other's biggest critics. So when we do good things, we're always one of the first people to congratulate each other. And, uh, but on the flip side, we're also, if we mess up, we're also uh, always there critiquing and trying to make each other better every day. I don't, I don't know if I would enjoy college football as much, honestly. Um, you know, it's just so cool playing with him again. I got to do it for two years in high school and, you know, playing two more years with him. You know, it's honestly, there's nothing like playing with your brother. For the Rouse, they have found happiness in playing with each other. But for Grant Graham, it's the excitement in playing for his brother Wes. I just remember always, you know, seeing Wes play football, wanting to be like him, you know, how he worked. And then uh, whenever I was younger and I was still like in, you know, playing with Legos or whatever, I'd always make a, always make my mom tell Wes to play with me for like a little bit. He'd always get so upset. It was, it was something my dad always pushed us to look out for him, um, don't baby him, but also, you know, um, you know push him and, and everything. So whether he was seven years apart, two years apart, three years apart, it didn't matter. We still, we were as competitive as, as anything, so. In the back of my mind, it was, it was going to be a surreal experience to be able to be coached by my brother at the college level. Brother and me, super excited. I, 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 wanted, I wanted the opportunity to do it. Um, I never told him that I you know, was really wanting to, to coach him, but I'm beyond excited that, that this, this happened. Like I remember coming into camp last year, the guys uh, just gave me so much crap for calling him Coach Graham all the time. But it's just, that, it's just how I was raised and it's the, that relationship that we have was I, was I'm, I have so much respect for him and everything that he's done. Grant. You know, credit to him treats me like a coach. It's he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't joke around with it when it comes to football. He he respects the he, I mean he just respects the the relationship there as a player to coach. And so coaching him as a quarterback was I mean it was like coaching myself. So whenever I gave him something or whatever, the response was what I would have what I would have said, which is so I mean it's it's weird, but I mean in a lot of ways we're we're just we're just alike. All of the Knox football legacies play a key role for the Prairie Fire each Saturday, and as they prepare to host St. Norbert this weekend, they will all lead the charge. <laughs>
Next week on Hard Knocks, we take a look at what it means to be a student athlete, plus highlights from the matchup with Wake Forest. We will see you next week on Hard Knocks.